Hey everybody, uh, Shane here with Cine Samples and Musio, and uh, I just want to show you some of the stuff that we're gonna, about to put into Musio uh, this week. So we're pretty excited. We um, we just recently released a library for Contact called Collision Impact Designer, and we love this library. It's really unique. Um, it's for big epic trailer impact, you know, percussion stuff. And um, we needed a Musio version, so we finally got the Musio version all put together, and um, I just want to show it to you. So let's check it out. So I've got a, a patch here, or a, a session here, loaded with the contact version and the Musio version. I think the main question that we're all going to be asking with this library is really what's the difference between the contact library and the Musio library. So right out the gate, um, the sample set is different. The Musio uh, sample set is just a subset of what's in the contact version. So with the Musio set, you're not getting all of the um, all of the samples for each section, but you're getting a lot. There's there's like 60 bespoke uh, designed impacts that we took from the presets. There's um, and then every section of samples after that. So tickies, high hits, mid hits, low hits, subs high sustains, mid sustains, low sustains, and sub sustains all have a bunch of samples laid out on their own patches in Musio, as you can see here. So we've got all the stuff, we have all the content that you'd really need to get the heart and soul of the library, but it's just not um, the full weighty epic punch of the entire contact library. So uh, let's take a look at the actual use case and the visuals. So obviously contact, we're able to script and design a, a regular GUI for this. So we have the, the whole you know custom interface here you've got your presets that you can save user presets that are available in the contact version you've got all the different menus for all these different samples you have all of the tweakability for all of the different samples um, it's really flexible it's for those people who are not uh, frozen by option paralysis like like I am sometimes this is for people who really want to get in and get to the nitty-gritty sources LFOs of individual samples Add all these uh, effects and you know mo and modulate them during their their whole session and, and score and uh, has you know it has an onboard mixer and everything so contact really is everything in the box it's all done for you it's all laid out here for you it's ready to go um, it also has the custom keyboard layout for the different sections group triggers and then the impact hits down there on the on the orange line uh, on the other side we've got Musio and Musio in fact I mean I thought this was going to be more of a light version when I put it together, but it's just totally different, and I think I'm going to use both of these libraries in tandem. They're freaking phenomenal together, and Musio is just a more streamlined, quick load, ready to go version of those same features and of those same sounds. So right out of the gate, we've got the first um, we got the first patch here, designed impacts. These are taken directly from the the main C hit. Uh, you know, the first preset hit from all these presets. And I, I don't think we included all of them. I think we included about 60 of them, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, yeah, yeah. C1 all the way through the C6 octave. So we included 60 of them, which is a lot to get going. Um, and as you can hear right now, they're, they sound exactly the same. So great, they're sounding great. Um, here's contact in. But as you can see, the contact version takes a little bit longer to load. It's a little bit more, you know, stuff to deal with here. You're loading all sorts of parameters and crazy things like that. But basically, it's it's these things um, that are loaded all the way. In. So you get the same basic vibe between contact and Musio. Just with contact, I can go through and turn everything on and off. I can make everything my own and tweak every parameter imaginable. In Musio, it's kind of like a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. And honestly, there are parts of me that like this better. I mean, in the design impacts patch for Musio, if I want, say, something that's a little bit more subby like that, but I also want something that blooms a little bit more, I don't have to load two presets. I can play these things side by side. I can actually play them at the same time to combine an impact with a bloom. So it's like... Probably slow.
slamming my output right now, but like. You can do so much cool stuff with the Collision Impact Designer in Musio that you can't do with Contact. It's just a little bit more uh, agile, whereas Contact is a little bit more deep. And then um, let's take a look at some of these individual patches. So on the tickies, um, as you can see, you've got a bunch of octaves of just tickies. You can design with those, you can layer those up, you know, but um, you can also program like really fast stuff. Um, high hits. Almost tickies, but a little bit more umph. Mid hits. And then low hits. And then the big subs that we all love. Love those guys. And then we have all the sustains available for you here as well. So we've got high sustain. Mid sustains. We've got low sustains. And then we have sub sustains. I hope you guys are all listening on headphones because if you're on a phone right now, this is not going to come through. But anyway, it's super cool. Um, another really fun thing is, you know, the, the, or a big difference, I guess, is with contact, you can load in different sections. You can make sure all of these are exactly what you want them to be. Um, and you can get really flexible with it in, in that way. You can trigger these things great and you can, you can trigger them individually. You can trigger them as groups but they work in one way, mostly to create impacts. That was the whole purpose of the library. If you're in Musio though, what, I, what we found after making these patches is that it's super easy to layer here. So for example, if I want to listen to, or if I want to create a sound bed really quick, I can throw in my sustains high, sustains mid, low, and sub. And I can blend these a little bit, but I think I'm probably gonna get a little bit loud on the highs. And I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of mix it a little bit here, and I'm just gonna press one key, or maybe two. But this is gonna layer all four of these sustains all at once. Check it out. Just really awesome stuff that you can do with sustains to make um, really amazing, you know, sound beds and and all that stuff. But check this out. Uh, you can also design your own impacts and hits. So if you want to grab whatever pieces that you want, tickies, hits, whatever kinds of hits you want, again, one key. You can get really cool hits with this thing. So it's really awesome because they're just layered and it's super easy to get those kinds of sounds. Now the other thing um, that Contact kind of has a, sim a, a sort of an advantage of is that we have this whole effect suite in Contact. So you can add anything you want on individual groups and everything like that. Um, you can kind of do the same thing with Musio. It might take a couple of instances, but if you throw in some um, instances of Musio, you can go ahead and just add all of those effects and all of those you know filters, anything you'd want, right in your DAW. Uh, right now I'm using Ableton Live and this DAW has incredible effects, but so does every DAW nowadays. Um, you know, it's it's not hard to grab a filter from your onboard effects in your DAW and start using those things that way. But basically just wanted to show you kind of the differences and show you what we're putting in Musio really soon. Uh, very excited to have this release out to you guys. Um, I think I'm personally gonna be using both of these libraries in conjunction. Uh, if I want something really quick, really agile, cause I just need to get something down on paper and continue creating, I'm gonna run to Musio. Um, if I want to play different beds and things like that, honestly, Contact and Musio are both good for that. Contact has a couple of things in it that are pretty awesome, specifically the LFOs that give a lot of movement. We don't have those effect functionalities in Musio quite yet, but um, Musio does have the ease of use. You know, you can just throw in a couple patches and just put hands on keys and start really getting great sounds so quick. So um, it's up to you, you know, figure out which works best for your workflow, get both. Uh, you can try out uh, this library in Musio free 14 day trial and see, uh, see what it sounds like to you. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great one.